Hello my friends and welcome to the channel. We've got a Hawaiian spy balloon on our hands. What do you think the shape of that Hawaiian spy balloon might be? Well, it's anybody's guess at this point. <laughs> All right, it's not technically a Hawaiian spy balloon. Obviously, we've got some other nation or some other entity that's putting up this spy balloon over the coastal waters and actually over some land in Hawaii to stay at the very end of this video and I'll tell you who I think is actually putting that up there. The whole point of these videos is to just help us stay more informed. I'll give you my opinion as a fighter pilot, as a former Thunderbird pilot on who I think could be doing this, what I know from discussions I've had with some higher ups who've, who've disclosed unclassified information to me from DARPA, some of the research projects that have gone on. And hey, what do we do? How do we react to these spy balloons, whether it's China, Russia, some other entity putting them up? How do we actually respond and do we let these things threaten the territorial integrity of the United States? Obviously, you know where I stand on that. I'd say that's a big thumbs down. Like in Gladiator, when the king, when the Gladiator King guy is like, Bish! that's what I say we do with these things is we just shut down these balloons as soon as they cross into US airspace. Now, there's a lot of different ways to do that. If you've seen my lives, you've heard me talk about some creative ideas, some pretty wild ideas, spans everything from freaking laser beams all the way to, let's see, hmm, potentially a C-130 that can just bup, 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 pepper one of these balloons with a few rounds, like an AC-130 gunship, and then somehow just, you know, have a little hook, throw a little hook into it. I'm sure this is super simple, not complicated at all. The engineers right now are rolling their eyes at me. They're like, dude, who are you? But it's a challenge. I'm throwing it out there to you. Have the hooks grab into these balloons, reel them in nice and slow, pull them into the 130, and we can just have a nice little discussion with China or whoever it may be. It's like you're holding their spy balloon in front of your face and you're like, what's up now, bro? What's up? What's your move now? We got your balloon. Literally your balloon flew for 15 minutes and we've got it. You've got to figure out something else, some other way to try to collect this information from classified areas. So again, when you think about this Hawaiian spy balloon, that's what, I don't know, maybe that's what we're calling it. No offense, Hawaii. I know you're known for many, many greater things than the Hawaiian spy balloon, like your Hawaiian pizza. I don't know why you're putting pineapples on that, but hey, no judgment here. I've eaten a slice or two in my day. So when it comes to what this thing may be, I think you're looking at China is probably the number one suspect, even though articles all over the place are saying that it doesn't look like it oriented or came from China, like the ori the origin, the origin, yeah, the origin is not actually from China. So, hey, if that's the case, here's what my thoughts are and stick with me on this one. So if China, knowing that we can detect their balloons as soon as they take off, which is what happened with the massive Chinese spy balloon that flew all the way up towards Alaska across the entire United States, surveilled sensitive locations, literally stopped over top of nuclear weapons bases to give China higher fidelity data, higher fidelity pictures of nuclear silos, the layout of nuclear bases as they revamped their nuclear arsenal. That's exactly what they were doing. And that's exactly the information that they were collecting. If anybody tells you otherwise, you need to give them a nice uh, side eye. Like, come on, man, come on. Hit me with the truth. So China's collecting information as they totally strategically revamp their nuclear arsenal because they see the nuclear arsenal as their bargaining chip with the rest of the world. And they see the US and Russia having massive nuclear arsenals, nuclear capabilities, and we've done it for decades. They see that as their next move to become what they want to be, which is a world leader, someone who's looked up to by other nations. So if they, and if they in their mind, have the most advanced nuclear capable artillery, the nuclear capable conventional forces that are intertwined with nuclear forces. So you got conventional and nuclear. You can see that they're just doubling down on their doctrine for nuclear. They think that's going to make them be taken more seriously on the world stage as they look to do a lot of different things in Africa and the Middle East. So they're trying to become a world leader. So they're like, hey, what do we have to lose? We're going to fly this balloon across. We'll say it's for civilian purposes. Again, you get people in a room where there's nobody to say, hey, emperor, you have no clothes on. Everybody's gonna know it's us. I'm sure they're sitting there, they're like, oh, yeah, um, yes, general, yes, general. No one will know. We'll just say it's a meteorological balloon, even though uh, clearly we're gonna stop and surveil sensitive nuclear sites. And the general's like, yes, yes. Uh, it feels nice that I don't have any clothes on. It's literally obvious at this point what's going on. So the fact that they were able to fly that thing up and around the United States, get all that information, in my opinion, definitely uh, sent the wrong message. But what it does send to them is now they know, let's say this is China who did this Hawaiian spy balloon. 
I just picture a big pineapple, sorry, Hawaii, I know you have more going on than pineapple on your pizza, but at the end of the day, what, what they're doing is they're gonna think of creative ways to not be detected. So you wanna hear my thought as a former fighter pilot, former Thunderbird pilot, former being the key words there, just some dude on YouTube who's chatting and talking. All right, here's what I'm gonna say is happening. I'm gonna war, war game this. I'm sitting in these Chinese briefing rooms where they're briefing the general, and the general was like, hey, you said they wouldn't be able to detect this thing last time it flew over the US. And they're like, sorry, General, sorry, General. We'll come up with a more creative plan. So what they could do is they could drive a balloon op type object, whether it's a hexagonal balloon, something with propulsion, something without propulsion, they could drive that thing underwater to a point where it might look like it's coming from another nation. Call me crazy, but there is a possibility that they just package this thing up all nice, they packed it like a parachute, and then what happens is some sort of delivery device drives, goes to the surface of the water, releases this thing, flies up, now it doesn't look like it oriented, or I gotta work on that word, like it originated from mainland China. I mean, I'm thinking just critically, thinking what you know China's gonna do. They've got essentially an endless source of money for their military, like the US does. So they're gonna think creatively, they're gonna try to come up with a solution that doesn't get that main general, who, oh, by the way, might kill you if you get something wrong, mad at them. So they're gonna come up with a creative solution. So that's one idea. The other idea is it could be Russia just messing with the US, distracting us from certain things. Again, there's all kinds of delivery devices that they could be using to do this. I mean, I don't think even an airplane dropping something like this off and not being detected for originating from Russia or China. And then you've got that third party potential where it's an NGO, it's a non-governmental organization that is delivering this thing executing this thing for some sort of purpose that may be nefarious or may just be like a little bit sketchy where they don't wanna get permits or something like that. Like maybe they're surveilling something out in the ocean. I mean, there's a million different things you could do, but I would say that it needs to be profit driven. If someone's gonna put up a big enough balloon to be detected by the United States' as radars, Again, it's gotta be profit driven. Now there's all kinds of rumors going out about the main Chinese spy balloon that was shot down and then there was three more shot down after that. So the ones that were shot down after that, there's the potential that they were from a hobby club, right? You know, you've got the picture of the hobby club, which is just wild to me, blows my mind, but you've got the potential for these smaller balloons to be originating from other places, I get it, but it's just very suspicious for this thing to appear over Hawaii, having to travel a very long distance to get there and determining you know, what kind of payload is on it. Once you determine that, you're gonna really get an idea of where this thing came from. Uh, some sort of hobby club is not gonna put up something that has a ton of solar power, has a solar array, has the ability to send and stream real-time photos back to China, which is what I guarantee, well, 99.9% .9 promise you was happening with that bigger Chinese spy balloon. So again, testing the US's capability is gonna be a big part of what's going on here. Because now that we've changed the way that the radars interpret data from NORAD, that's the North American Aerospace Defense Command, once you change the way that those things interpret raw data, you're gonna see different returns on the radar, you're gonna be able to detect different things. So these nations know that we did that because we publicly said that we did. So now they're gonna test, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's more balloons that come after this one. So why don't you let me know in the comments below what you think this Hawaiian spy balloon <laughs> may be. It's just funny to say that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna have a lot of new content coming at you, super excited, so check back on Sundays. I'll have content releasing every Sunday. Most of all, thanks for being here. Check out another video if you would like. I'll let them pop up here. One will be related to that Chinese spy balloon that came up, and another will be what YouTube thinks you would like to watch, and I know you can make your own decision there. Thanks so much for being here. Most of all, have a great day. Catch you on the next video.